Hey guys, what's going on? Sherman here. Today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of really cool custom-made products that were sent to me to test and review by a knife maker by the name of Thomas Smith. And his company is called Emerald Knives. And I just want to show you his card. And uh, you can check out his website. And also he's on Instagram by the same name, Emerald Knives. And he makes a bunch of really cool custom knives. And he also makes different things like little uh, pendants, uh, multi-tools, or like pocket tools, things like that. And these are two prototypes that he made and sent some out to a couple of different people and I was lucky enough to be one of them. So I'm very honored to get these. These are uh, some prototypes of his for G10 guitar picks. So you can see here, uh, G10 gunner guitar pick. Um, now there's two different designs. I, I can't remember which one is the gunner pick. Um, but, but nonetheless, these are 100% G10 guitar picks. So I have tested and used Kydex guitar picks, titanium guitar picks, uh, but I've never had the chance to try out G10. So very cool. Uh, this is the one that I was most interested in, and it's really cool because it's also in my color. But this is a tri-tipped guitar pick. So it kind of reminds me of a jazz pick. It's about the standard size of a normal guitar pick. But it has three tips. And I really like how he did the uh, the chamfered edges around there because that's really important because if you have a really sharp, harsh edge, it's going to just catch on that string. You want you want to have a smooth surface so that that pick rolls off the strings and it allows you to play more accurately and faster too, which is something that I look for because I play generally a heavier style of music, which is also why he wanted me to test these out because... I believe he had a guy that was a jazz musician try him, and he wanted to get a kind of, a, I guess, a metal guy's perspective. So very cool of him to send these out, uh, especially since he is from Canada. So I imagine the shipping was not cheap. So very, very appreciative to get these. Uh, this one is a standard, uh, standard style. This one's much thinner, though. You see the thickness differences. So this one, a uh, very sharp tip. This one does have a little bit of flex to it. This one, because it's thicker, it, it has none. No flex whatsoever. But I'm, I'm used to the Tortex, uh, I think they're the .88 millimeter, or maybe they're the .93 millimeter. Um, that Those are real thick. I think they are, they are green, or maybe they're blue picks. So very thick, though. Um, now, G10 being a fiberglass reinforced material, I do not see too much... Um, uh, I don't see too much wear happening on these picks. Uh, the thinner one may be before this one. Uh, but, you know, I'm really anxious to see how these play, how they sound, and um, how, how long they wear. Because on average, with me playing every day, uh, a pick may, m might last me about two months, two to three months. I'm rough on my picks. Um, so I don't see these uh, wearing very much. But they have, very, they have a very fine tip. And the cool thing with this tri-tipped one is that it's not that drastic of a design difference. You guys can see there the, the comparison. So you grip it like just like a normal pick. So there's no, you know, you don't have to change your picking style or your picking grip, rather. Um, but the cool thing is, is while you're playing and that tip wears down, because once, these, once a guitar pick wears down a lot, it's not going to hit that string very accurately. It may bounce off of it or roll off of it. You're not going to get a real confident strike on that string. So the advantage with this that I think is really cool and ingenious, once one of these tips wears down, flip it over and you got another one. Once that wears down, flip it, over, flip it around and you get a third one. So basically, it's three picks in one. Uh, whereas a pick like this, the standard guitar pick style, when the, once that primary tip wears down, it, you throw it away. So... Very cool. Like I said, 100% G10. I cannot wait to see how these sound. Um, whoop. And like I said, these are going to be super durable. Really, really cool picks. I'm really hoping he puts these into full production and starts making these. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and I'm going to play a little bit for you guys. Uh, so I apologize for that in advance. But <laughs> show you guys how these play and how these work.
final verdict of the tri-tip guitar pick. Uh, the thickness made it a little bit difficult to do any kind of speed picking or tremolo picking. Uh, pinch harmonics were a little iffy with it because of the thickness. Because you know, it really, you really need to dig your thumb in there and the more material you have on that pick, the little harder it gets. Um, you can see it's starting to collect some of the corrosion off the, uh, the nickel on the strings. So that's pretty cool. It really grabs the strings just because of the nature of G10. Um, but a little hard to speed pick. And I was finding myself being a little bit more inaccurate than I normally would. Just here again because of the thickness and the, uh, the complete lack of flexibility. But in terms of rigidity, it's perfect. It has not worn down in the least. That, that tip is still uh, very sharp. Now onto the thinner kind of a purpley one. And actually, kind of funny because it almost matches my guitar perfectly. <laughs> verdict on the thinner purple standard shaped guitar pick. It was a little bit harder to play with this one actually uh, because it has such a fine strong tip. It, is, it was a little bit worse than the green one in terms of uh, speed picking. It was really really difficult. I really struggled with the, um, the, the reckoning part that I was doing. The, you know, the real fast speed picking part. Uh, it was a lot harder to do with this one just because of that tip. Because like I'm saying, you need a, uh, a real good rounded surface to slide off of that string to be able to, to play faster. Um, now over time, that tip will wear down, or you could sand it down, and I'm, I'll, I might even do that and then revisit this. But as is, as I got these, um, it was a little bit hard. It was a little bit harder to speed pick with these. Um, but it was easier surprisingly with the thicker one than the thinner one just because of the beveled edges that he did on this one. So speed picking and everything, this one was easier. This one was a little bit more accurate in my picking. The the thicker green tri-tipped one, it was also a little bit easier to uh, do alternate picking, like the waking the demon part that I was doing. Uh, so alternate picking, this was a little bit easier. Surprisingly, I thought with the thickness it'd be harder. But I think it's just because of those rounded edges, whereas this one because it is thin, but it doesn't have any rounded edges to it. Um, it's a little bit rounded, but it's not real beveled like the green one is. So it was a little bit harder to get that string to really slide off of there. Because, you know, with those thick edges, or those rough edges, it just, ca it just grabs that string instead of rolling off of it. Like with a standard uh, rounded, smooth guitar pick. But... Really cool. I really love these picks. Very grateful that he sent these to me. Um, I, I do like the tri-tipped one better overall. Very cool. I uh, love the design. I love the feel of it. And, and so also something I wanted to mention is that if you're, a, if you're a guitarist and you're familiar with the Dunlop Tortex guitar picks, how they have that kind of chalky finish, uh, these do as well. It's just kind of the, um, the normal texture of G10. So it's very grippy. Um, even when my, my fingers were getting a little sweaty, uh, this really grips. So G10 is a fantastic material to make guitar picks out of because it naturally has that kind of chalky texture that, that really grips. So great texture, very comfortable. Um, and I, I recommend these and I hope, he, I hope he puts these into full production. So really love these picks. Um, definitely check them out. Message him on, um, or, or message him. Check him out on Instagram and uh, ask them about these if you guys want some. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the review. Stay safe, stay sharp, and God bless. Sherman 614. Peace.